guys, Mazaku here to give you guys a. I was about to say Dragon Ball. Naruto Shippuden. Ooh, blah, blah, blah. Naruto Filler Putin, episode 440 review. Um, episode, and it begins, it's like, it's half a little bit interesting, half just, it's just there to take up space. Um, so basically, this whole test thing is over. Um, it's confirmed to be uh, Neji's dad. I called it. Excuse me. It's confirmed to be Neji's dad, and um, turns out his dad was reanimated by Urochimaru. And yeah. So I'm guessing in this world, Urochimaru mastered the Edo Tensei. Because before him, he summoned Hashirama, Toby Rama, these niggas was weak as fuck. And he summons fucking Hijashi in this man's opening and closing dimensions. I don't even think he even gave him that. But I think that had to be his part before he died. Or, but that's in that story. It's not in the manga. So it doesn't count anyway. But if it wasn't a the manga, then I don't... <laughs> I would have went to war with them cloud niggas. Like, you, you do some crazy shit. I'm going to see you in another fucking dimension. But turns out, um, these so-called badass teachers was tied up the whole time. They was tied up in a cabin. Did you just say what I just said? They were tied up in a cabin. Joining of the village hidden in the leaves were tied up in a cabin to be saved by Genin. <sighs> and, and all they had to say was, I'm embarrassed. Embarrassing you with a word pen. Used to fucking get debunked to a fucking academy student. Fuck them. I don't. I don't. I don't get it. But it was for their plot. So I mean, this whole filler, it's been fucked. It's been fucked, and it sucked really badly. I don't even want to do review on this. People say, hey, I don't like it. Don't watch it, bitch. I have a fucking auto fan base. I like. I review. That's what I do. Whether it was good, whether it's bad. Some people are like, no, you don't like it. Don't watch it. The same shit with Dragon Ball Super. You like it. Don't watch it. If you don't like me fucking talking shit about Dragon Ball Super, don't fucking watch me either, bitch. You don't have to. If it's a bad episode, it's a bad episode. I review it. I think people confuse review, fanboyism. Mazaku, for never wrote in them. I don't do the fucking, the fuck boy shit. I don't do it. I'm a grown ass fucking man. Fuck that sucking anime. No, fuck that shit. You want that? Go to fucking Double Foot Anime fucking. For now, we're on the TV reviews. You want you want to uh sit there on your knees and watch somebody else on their knees and you both suck the same cock. You want that shit? Go to them. I'm not going to be nice because it's not nice. It's bad. This filler is bad. Dragon Ball Super. Only thing good right now is like One Punch Man and the Nostrum of Sazai, which I got to fucking do review on. Damn. I fucking miss it again. Because I, I don't know. What's happening? I don't know. What's happening, man? I got to get back up to reading One Piece. So I've been taking a break from it because, you know, the, the incident recently happened. But, look, I'm going to get off topic. This ep episode, I'm going to give, like, 4 out of 10. The only good part I liked about it was um when they found the teachers, you know, tied up. Hijashi uh, appeared, and uh, he did reveal himself to uh, the people in the Italy. And, of course, Guy and Mike. I said Guy. Yeah, Mike Guy and Kakashi noticed him. And, basically, he goes on the rebunks and telling them shit. But, it's like... They had a flashback within a flashback. Like, when Neji was talking to his dad, he had a flashback. But this is a flashback, and this is also a filler. False story. Because Tsunade's story was about Dan and... Uh, Dan and... Uh, his, what's, what's her fucking little brother name? Whatever his fucking name is. That was her Tsukuyomi shit. Like, her dream. So we have a false dream within the filler, within the flashback, within another flashback. I don't... I don't know what's going on here. Then. I just want this to be over with, people. And guess what? Next episode, another filler. And it seems like this is going to continue for a long time because I see a fucking preview of Sasuke learning this Shidori. I'm like, no. What the fuck are y'all doing? No, the end this shit. This, the next episode better be the last one. I don't want to... Because what if... This, oh, God. This was the Tsunade's dream. This is not even her dream. They made this shit up. This is not, this is not in a manga. 
Shit was not about no reading the hate Darius, but no, no. So after this whole shit is over, no, you guys gonna get a whole nother dream shit with Sunada again about the Dan and uh whatever the fuck a little brother name is. This shit is it's gonna be here to maybe like February. Her shit. Or January, I don't fucking know. Um I mean the whole music score, like when that you're talking to his dad, I love that. That was nice. It's always good to see some emotional moments in Naruto. But surrounded by bullshit, it's like it's not needed because it's not real. We don't give a fuck about it. <sighs> and people asked me to make a video about uh like Naruto Stone Forward, what I think about it so far, what they're doing. I got some good things, I got some really bad things to get off my chest about that Pacific game and about the whole Burrito series shit. Apparently that's confirmed. I got some shit to say on that, and it's not gonna be nice. I'm not gonna be like for never run get my fucking knees and deep throat this shit or double for anime. He's probably at this moment. Check the go. At this moment, you're sucking his fucking dick and just looking up blog. Oh, let's look like theories. It's like, dude. This anime community fucking sucks, dude. This shit fucking sucks. It's not. It's the thing. It's like, man, what do you call it? I don't know. I don't fucking know. Like, be lucky that there's rare ones like me still out. Just be lucky, because niggas just uh, supposedly at the top now. It's just... It's like the John Cena of the anime community. All this built up, built up hype for what? For some bullshit. But I would create some leverage. I would create, you know, a balance of what I think about the Storm Form shit and this fucking Burrito series shit. I'm going to set this shit straight, nigga. Because none of it is fucking good right now in my eyes none of it mazaku here um and it was barely episode review just because barely anything happened in this episode and technically i think this kind of confirms that in this filler is jiraiya defeated virtual because the edo tensei has been released because the virtual did use edo tensei to make Hijashi come back to life and he had a nice talk with his son i appreciated that um too bad that he's gonna die anyway even in the fake world but Mazaku, man. And I'm out. Peace.